Here we're looking at a MagDrive Black Max. That's the new model that's out. We'll see if we can see it here. Here on the side, we'll zoom in. Here's the water pump. You'll be able to see it. There it is right there. That feeds the water. And of course that comes from the tank right here. And of course here's the cap for the tank so you can see that. So it comes with a cap and a lid. Fed by quarter inch line. You can see that, you know, there it is right there. There's the pump. It's electrical control. Come up across the top. Alright, as you can see it's a two-celled unit. The far outbound, the close outbound with the two water level sensors and solenoids right here in the middle. Of course when the water goes down the solenoids open up from the level sensor switch and they turn the pump on and then the water comes from the pump which is down here. Water comes out of the pump, goes on up and follows its way around and comes to a Y junction right here or T junction, whatever you want to call it. And one goes to one solenoid and another one goes to the other solenoid. And if we follow the outbound line, let's see if we can get it on here. We'll follow it around. As you can see it, no condensate in the line, no boiling water, nothing like that. And we'll just follow that line all the way on up. And there we go to the flow gauge. And let's see if we can zoom in on that. And she's sitting there right now. Oh, it's bouncing between 3 and 6 liters per minute. And of course, we'll follow the outbound line down. And this is static now. No vacuum on it. And we'll come down here. And there it is inside just a water container. You know me with my usual water containers. They're cheap. They're easy. Why be fancy when you can be practical? And you see those are rather large bubbles coming up out of there. And that all has taken place on a power supply without the battery hooked up because there's the positive side. And the power supply right here is running at... Let's zoom in for you. This is amperage. And see if we can get it to zoom in and unblur itself. There we go. We're running at approximately 19 amps. And voltage-wise, I'll hit the voltage switch. At 13.5, 13.6 volts, 19 amps. So that'll give you a general idea. Okay, and there's the outbound right there. You can see the size of the bubbles coming out of it. Pretty good size. And to prove that it is hydrogen, we're going to go boom. We're going to set some of it off. See if we can get this thing to work. There we go. I got so much stuff in the way and I'm not ambidextrous and I don't have three hands. If I could get it all to work, we'd be all right. Well, you can hear it pop. There we go. There's a nice little crack. And of course that's coming out from the outbound hose which is up here. And again if we go over here and we look you can see she's oscillating oh bouncing two to six so average four liters a minute. And if I remember my conversions correctly 3.7 liters is equal to a gallon. So we're doing, oh, a gallon a minute in HHO on a static environment with no vacuum coming directly out of the unit, which I'll come back here and we'll get a look at the unit from the front side. I'll zoom out a little bit. And you can see from the front side, it's 14 and a half inches tall. Its overall width from side to side is a total of 12 inches. And we'll go down here and make it a little smaller so you can see it. It's 12 inches wide. Overall width on the body uh, is 5 inches, but with the relays and the solenoids, it's about 6 and a half inches, 7 inches uh, deep. Okay, and here's what the back side looks like. And on the back side, what you do is you mount your 
L brackets down to the bottom on these three studs and hook them to the studs on the bottom and then you can bolt it directly into the side of a firewall, a fender clip, a brake, uh, a brace of some type or even in the back of an automobile alright and you can do it there and of course here's the pump here and this is on a bench of course but underneath you can see underneath the anodes or the cathodes underneath you can see those all the way under there and of course if we come around and we look up above you can see the anode connections which are right there alright left and right and they come to a common lug point there on that black uh, a polypropylene uh, like uh, bar there they come in there so they're uh, neutralized so they don't short out and of course it comes with a Y fitting comes with the safety flashback valves which you can see right here and right there and of course there is your relays this is for water level sensor and pump this is for water, oh, I'm sorry this is the power relay excuse me I'm looking at the camera it's backwards that's the power relay. This is a water level sensor right here. Alright, relay and uh, for the pump. And so is this one on the end. And this one in the front controls the power to the whole unit, which is controlled from your power switch off of, uh, hopefully, you use an ADA circuit. But that's what the Black Max looks like by MagDrive. This is for larger units. Uh, you can use this on engines that are 8, 9, 10, 13 liters. Okay, is so where you use these because with this output, as you can see, as we'll zoom in, and this is static with no vacuum on it, as you can see here, it's averaging, oh, four liters a minute because it's pulsing between two and six. So that's four liters a minute at 19 amps and, oh, roughly 13, 13 and a half volts. And that's only at 19 amps, so that means across the cell, each cell is only getting about 8.5 amps. You can actually run this all the way up to 25 amps, which will give you probably in a neighborhood, oh, I would say of, uh, oh, easily 8 liters a minute, which would be close to 2 gallons, so that's not too bad. But anyway, that's the mag drive, that's the Black Max, and you see it right there. Any questions, you can always call us, our number's on our website. And, of course, uh, you can always reach us at www.fuelfromh2o.com. And that's about it. So thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.